I'm here for you uh, for a sports hug. Yeah, Rich, look. Because you might need one again tonight. Maybe if today <laughs> was the first time that someone has yeah. listened to this show, they might buy this act that you're trying to give me right now. Act. 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 I'm act. the sports act. comforter. Whoa. I don't Whoa. think anyone who's listened more Whoa. than three times believes what you're saying. I think if it wasn't your right team now. that beat his team, then maybe this yeah. would be a, come across a little more genuine. No, yeah. I, I yeah. offered you when the Cowboys got eliminated. Yeah, for no, a sports talk, like I Jets came over and gave it them, to you. you know? And we weren't, we weren't buying that either. Del Tufo's the one like, ah, he's got the <laughs> picture of him like, ah. Like, he's the one celebrating your demise. But I actually came and gave you that hug. That's After funny. the Cowboys yeah. got eliminated, That's now. Funny. Well, you had this no is not an act. I'm you, the, honestly, you had no skin in that Cowboys game, but I mean, you know, this one you last do, night, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know. As a new fan to the Knicks, because, new fan. You, because you left them as well. Uh, no, I left you, them because my back on my, the my team's owner left Charles Oakley to rot in lockup. I mean, what did that have to do with? I you, was you know, I'm, I'm, Charles Oakley is my guy. Sand. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> If I had to name my top five favorite Knicks of all time, Ooh, Jalen Brunson. You, Jalen you want to do Brunson, it? Jalen yeah. Brunson. Uh, should top I do it? Do we, do, <laughs> even without a drop, top five Knicks of all time. We, no stinking Hold on, drop, we can get the drop. Nah, 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 we, we can tap dance. They pull me back in. Correct. We can tap dance. Let's hit it. What you got? Do we got a top five? We can hit it. Go ahead and hit it if hit you got it. it. I don't hit know it. if you got it. But it. here, listen. I'll give it one, two, three, four, five. No, no, I'll, I'll do five. it at the end. I'll do it at the end of this segment. Well, now you pick your interest. Oh. Top five. One, two, three, four, <laughs> oh, five. Oh, okay. Richest top five. Didn't expect to do this. <laughs> Didn't expect to do this. All right. Um, <laughs> we're going to go favorite, here. New York Knickerbockers. Uh, number five um, is a tie. John Stark's Anthony Mason. Oh, mm. tie. Number four. Mace. Number hair. four Mace. is um, so good. is is Oakley. Okay. Number three is Ewing. Three Ewing. Yes. Because you know who number two is. Number two Number two is Jalen Brunson. Yeah. Oh, wow. Bernard. Number one is Bernard King. How about that? Yeah. Off the top of the dome right With there. The and I'm sure I'm leaving a couple out. But John Starks, Anthony Mason, Oakley, Ewing, Brunson. Alan Houston's sitting here waving his hand. And like Bernard right King. Oh, please. Hello. <laughs> uh, I, I, Alan Lin Houston. Sanity. Huh? When sanity. Get out of here with the Linsanity nonsense. It's nonsense. For it's two nonsense. Weeks, it was not nonsense. Rich. It was. It's empty calories. It's when Knicks fans thought this is the change. We were looking for the change. You're looking for the tide turning for so long. When's the tide's going to turn? And then you had a schmecky owner sitting there with somebody who was aging appropriate, <laughs> holding his coffee cup, watching Oakley go in a lockup. <laughs> Don't pull me down in the wormhole when things are going so well. Boom. <laughs> I'm going to say this while I'm on a roll. <laughs> to the owners of the Philadelphia 76ers, needed to buy boy. more than 2,000 tickets. Oh, boy. Like I said, insincere. Needed to buy more. Now, you got me on a roll here. Well, that's how I like you. Well, needed to buy a, someone other than Tobias Harris to play in the game last oh, night. Oh, man. You know, I think he was on the tape. But uh, listen. <laughs> Kind of fitting, kind of fitting for the Knicks to get a three-pointer from Josh friggin' Hart, who's got all heart. That guy has just been awesome since the Knicks grabbed him. Yeah. And then the guy who should have been in the mix for most improved player in the league, and Dante DiVincenzo hitting two free throws to keep the Knicks up by three. And then when the Sixers were playing, let's just go for two points here and there and not shoot the three just yet. And the Knicks, by the way, fouling Tyrese Maxey this time. Good idea. <laughs> that was smart. Good idea. In the backcourt, too. Yeah, could have saved us the trouble of having the Sixers off. owners buy their own tickets for their own fans. And then Brunson hits two free throws to seal it. And I'll be honest, sir, I know he's been – playing well for the the Sixers of late I would have chosen Buddy Heald to take that last three any any day of the week any time as long as it's not the most improved player in the league oh so you were happy with Buddy. dude yeah. come hey, on Buddy, man Buddy was having a good game last I'm night. sure he was but not Maxi not Embiid you take it buddy yeah that's the kind of shot you'll live with if oh please you know. any day of the week and it's fitting that those three guys help put the Knicks into the second round and in all cities, Philadelphia, 
the Nova Knicks, as they are being called. And that's a Georgetown fan in me hates Villanova, so I hate this Knicks team. I hate the three of them. Sorry, I hate sir. what happened last night. I'm just, I'm not happy today, people. I'm just that's why I was offering you a hug. Yeah, yeah a but hug. not from you. You're going to hug me and smile. No, I'm not. Your team did it. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, it was your team that did it. The yeah. Nova Knicks. Blue all Nova together at by the way st john fan all the st john fans are you know st john's fans are in new york suddenly feeling they the love, same way oh they bit, love right? filling over all of a sudden <laughs> this is the greatest sports creates strange bedfellows i once <laughs> cheered for wade boggs on, on a horseback that's weird okay like strange bedfellows wade boggs on a horseback. dude <laughs> it had to feel dirty right hey but you got that. that Listen, all three of them interviewed together, uh, sat together for the media last yeah. night, talking about their relationship. Can't stand these dudes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm being honest. Oh, I was about to answer. <laughs> oh, no, I mean, it's, um, it, it, it's, it, it's amazing because we have great friendship. Um, you know, we, we love each other. We're like brothers. Um, and, you know, we... Um... On a serious note, I think on the court, it's, you know, you have the ability to um, bring everybody together, uh, make adjustments, have that open, you know, line of communication with nobody, you know, nobody taking offense. I think everybody's, you know, goal here is to win. Um, and it's easier when you have two guys that you've played with formally, so you know that sometimes when things get heated, it, it's coming from the right place. Um, and then that translates to everybody, and everybody's able to uh, talk to each other in that way. I'm in, man. Two things. First of all, um, first of all, I'm just so glad Dante DiVincenzo doesn't have a podcast, so the person who was asking the question was free to ask the question, and he felt <laughs> open to respond. <laughs> Listen, Knicks fans, I will just counsel you this. The team you're playing next, the Pacers, because they eliminated the Bucks last night, speaking of Patrick Beverly, they are good. They are young. They are good. They are strong. They are deep. Got a good coach. But going to feel, got to feel really good to beat the Sixers in an old school, old-fashioned Eastern Conference playoff game, Donnie Brook. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.